In today's video, I want you guys to come hang out with me in my kitchen in real time. I'm making some salmon, some jasmine rice, salad for dinner tonight, you guys. Simple, repeatable, and delicious. Welcome back, friends, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Abia, and I make content centered around my lifestyle. From van life to divorce, now solo living in my apartment. And I'm realizing that no matter where we are in life, no matter our age, we can live our joy by embracing the things that truly make us happy and fulfilled. And despite what life throws at you, make joy a priority in your life. You want to eat? You want to eat? She wants to eat. Let's feed that dog. Let's feed that. Let's get you some wawa. You know what? I'm going to get my microphone. All right, y'all. Got the microphone on. <laughs> How y'all doing? Hi, friends. You know, I'm looking at this setup here, and it's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of cool. Because you guys can kind of see, but you can't see the stove, so you ain't going to be able to see what I am doing. But I am cooking dinner, okay? And I got a new microphone, so tell me how does it sound? Now, what I'm making today is Now, what inspired this dish for me was these seaweed packs. Seaweed. I ain't put my dishes up. <laughs> no. But, no. I've had these before by accident. And I ate them with some rice and some soy sauce. To me it is so at the grocery store i saw them and i got two packs i got the sea salt one and an avocado oil one and i think the one i had before was kind of like a little spicy i don't know but that's what i'm going to do that's what inspired this dish so i'm gonna make a small caesar salad and I'm going to have, I'm going to cook some rice. And I have the salmon that you saw me buy at the grocery store. So the oven is preheating and I'm going to rinse my rice. I'm not going to make a lot. I'm probably only going to make one cup of rice. So it's not going to take long to cook at all. At all. Bella likes to lick her bowl until <laughs> there's no hope. 
There's no hope for a crumb. Crumbs have no hope. Bella, you know I don't want you in here when I'm cooking. Out, 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 out. Thank you. Somebody want to come put my dishes up? Cause <laughs> out. I like to rinse my rice in a strainer like this. Yeah. Something I couldn't do in van life because water preservation means everything. Was that the right word? I don't even know. <laughs> it looked like it was rinsing clear. So it's ready bell and something i started doing with my salad with my rice sometimes is i'll add a cinnamon stick in there i don't know for me it just gives it this nice aroma it gives it a nice i don't know i like it so i'm gonna put it in there maybe i'm just weird <laughs> But it does give it a little flavor. I don't put it in all my rice because everybody might not like that taste. And I may not want that taste every time I make rice. My oven's ready. And my rice is cooking. You know, and as long as I as I've had this rice cooker, what is this part? I don't know. So we're going to get my salmon ready. I was going to pan sear it, but I don't feel like dealing with popping grease, popping nothing. So I'm going to bake mine today. I'm going to bake it, bake it. So I've been trying to figure out, which I think I've already figured it out, <laughs> if I'm going to stay in this apartment for another year. They sent me an email and... I don't know. This apartment is decent, but it's not giving me things that I feel like I need. Like, I want direct sunlight coming in. I don't get direct sunlight coming in at all. And I also don't like, 
a few other things about this apartment. And if y'all want me to be for real, for real, for real, I can tell there's mold in the walls. <laughs> yeah. I can tell. So, yeah. Now I'm going to season this baby. What am I going to season it with? What should I season it with? Huh, Bella? Should I just go with what I normally go with? Yeah? Okay. She said, I don't care what the hell. <laughs> Maybe that's why my dog loves me because she knows I'm crazy. I'm crazy about you, girl. I'm going to put some soy sauce on my salmon to kind of give it, see, I like soy sauce on my salmon, <laughs> I do, I've been making it like that for a long time. That'd be my first coat is soy sauce. It helps to give it color, taste, saltiness. You get all of that with soy sauce. See how color changed? <laughs> this is how I be kicking it at home by myself, guys. I be, I be, you know, this is how I be kicking it at home most times. I don't want my flavors to be too exotic. So, did I just use that? <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, we're going to use this. This was good. I forgot. I got this salmon rub from Trader Joe's. We're going to use this. Yep. And that's all she wrote. I think I needed it a little more salt with this, but it was so good. And I go heavy with it. I went heavy with it at least. I'm going to put a little salt on it. That's it. And a little pepper. See, I feel like when you buy like mixed seasoning like that you still got to add your touch to it you know what i'm saying i mean because when you mix verse okay so when you mix your spices together in a bowl and then put it on your meat it's gonna taste different because all the spices together really creates one flavor versus when you put it on separate um you get a different flavor so that's just what i think and what was that? That was onion powder with the garlic. Perfect. That in there. Yeah, this is nice and seasoned how I like it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. And basically what I'm doing now is I'm patting down the spices to be in the meat and trying to use some of this soy sauce to help the seasonings stick more to the meat to where it looks like a rub. And I'm going to top it with some olive oil. And go in the oven uncovered so today was really you know this not eating out challenge that I'm giving myself right now I mean I I like it I mean I can financially tell the difference <laughs> um, energy wise 
energy wise I can tell the difference financially I can tell the difference so I mean but today was hard it was because I kept wanting to you know I didn't I, don't, I didn't feel like doing this tonight okay basically so today's Thursday so I've been eating good for a while for a couple of days now a few days now and today's Thursday and I really was like I gotta go home and wash some dishes then I gotta cook me something to eat <laughs> y'all mm -mm. but I said no Abia, you challenged yourself be a woman of your word so that's what we're doing tonight I am being a woman of my word and keeping this challenge and I'm only challenging myself because I know there's room for improvement. Definitely. All right. Well, those are cooking. I was going to do some green beans, but I think, I think that's good. Yeah. So I'm going to just get my salad ready. Please don't fall over. Thank you. <laughs> Every time she hear a bag, she think it's for her. No, baby, this is not for you. Not for you, not for you. So, yeah, so I'm glad that I stuck to my challenge to myself. And I recorded every meal so far this week that I have eaten. I have not cheated. I have no reason to lie or tell a story. And this is not to lose weight. However, <laughs> that could be one of the benefits of everything. Um, but it's to save money. I mean, I'm single. I live by myself. I feed myself. I don't have nobody else to feed. Well, I got Bella. But when I go to the grocery store, I'm like, I spend all this money at the grocery store. Things are expensive as is. And then I'll have a refrigerator full of food, a pantry full of food full of food and I'll still order out all the time because I'm being lazy and I don't want to cook. <laughs> then I was for a while there I was eating a lot of sandwiches too. I was eating a lot of sandwiches but I can't continue to eat that bread like that I just can't so I've been thinking about when I'm done eating the bread that I have I think I may start buying uh, keto bread because keto bread has no carbs or very very little carbs so And I bought me some almonds because I'm preparing myself for my next challenge. <laughs> Ooh, and this was going to be a very hard, hard challenge for myself. And that's to um, cut back. I did not mean to cut these onions this small. Oh, Lord. I didn't want them that small. You know what? I think I'm. But I didn't want them that small for a salad. I didn't. I didn't. You know what? F it. I'm just gonna use what I cut. Not all of them. The Caesar salad don't have onions and all the stuff, but oh well. <laughs> it's my salad, so I can do what I want. 
You like that? I like that. So I've been thinking about making, yeah, I'm thinking about, I almost forgot what I was talking about, but yeah, going dairy, can I say dairy free? I'm trying to say dairy free. Look, I'm not even convinced myself. It is. I'm trying to cut back on my dairy intake because I love cheese and cheese is one of my favorite things to eat. But I also know cheese is really, you know, I probably eat too much. And I want to see if me cutting back on dairy helps with my bloating um, and maybe my skin. I don't know. We'll see. But I haven't figured out what to do about butter. <laughs> and I bought some almonds, non-salted almonds to see if I can make like my own almond milk and then I want to figure out how to make a plant-based coffee creamer for myself. Oh, look at that salad. Only thing that's missing is cucumbers and cheese. <laughs> oh, it does have cheese on it, but not the type of cheese I want. But that is a nice little salad. See, I told you. It's like... How can you have a salad without cheese? Like, am I going to survive that? Am I going to survive that? I don't know. <laughs> but we'll see. If I give myself a week, a week, maybe, maybe. I'm going to put this in the fridge so it stays cold. Put this stuff away. I was going to make some green beans, but I think this is enough food for me. Yeah, that rice is coming along great. Actually, I should have turned it off. And the salmon is coming along. Yep, so just going to wait for dinner to be done. And hey, thanks for watching me cook today, hanging out in my kitchen. <laughs> I appreciate it so much, guys. So I'll be back to show you guys the final product. All right, guys, we are back. Move, baby. Oh, look at that brass. Look at that brass. You know what? I want to try how them people do them mountain things with rice and stuff. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. This rice smells so good. So, so good. You know how they pat it down? <laughs> how they pat it down? Like, you know how they pat it down like that? Yo. Was I supposed to put oil or something in there? <laughs> I did. 
did it. I did it. I am officially fancy now. It's official. I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm fancy. Okay. Bella ain't having it. I get it. You ain't there yet. If you're wondering why I put water in there, it's to help it to be unstuck to the pan. And I am not going to eat all of this. But I will eat half. Here are the little seaweed things I was telling you guys about. They're actually really good. I ain't going to eat it all of them. Okay, I'll put you in there later. What? All right. Here is dinner. I have my rice and salmon. Hold on. Move. Here is dinner. Got my rice and salmon. With a salad. Yay! I stuck true to my challenge. The dressing on my salad. And a little pepper. I like croutons, but I like to crunch them up. I don't like big chunks. Okay. Dinner is served. Now let me show you guys how I eat this. So I just take this, grab some rice. Can't forget the soy sauce. Grab some rice like that. And I'm actually going to put a piece of the salmon in there. and drizzle with some soy sauce. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. That is so good. It's like having sushi. Look at that juicy salmon.
<laughs> Oops. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What are you doing, Bella? Mm. What are you doing? Are you in the window? Mm. That is good. Mm hmm. Mm. This is so good, guys. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I have my sparkling water, and I'm gonna catch up. Mm. Mm. So good. I'm gonna catch y'all later, but. Because I'm about to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm about to get ugly with it. Peace out. Bye.